Welcome back art students. Okay, so I've been doing that process for a while now and now I'm at the point where I can start peeling off some of the tape. Just wanted to show you how I taped over, you know, some of these areas of my shapes and show you the reveal process. So you want to peel away very slowly and very carefully and gently. Take your time, okay? Because remember, you don't want to peel away the ink, you don't want to peel away certainly the paper. This is fragile paper. So you want to be very gentle with this process. Okay, so peeling off the tape very slowly. And you'll see that you have these nice protected crisp edge lines because of the protection of your tape. Now I didn't take advantage of the fact my tape was there. I didn't spill over onto my uh, tape purposefully knowing that it was um, protecting but I did you know it did help like if you see right here you can see I went over accidentally a little bit so if that tape wasn't there it would have you know went over into my other area so it does help um, but it's not to be taken advantage of okay so just keep that in mind and remember that when you apply your tape you should not be pushing on heavy pressure also, you can repurpose your tape. You can use your tape again. Don't just crumple it up into a ball and put it in the garbage. You can use it over and over again in new areas and rework with it if you have to, okay? So um, don't waste your tape. Use it as you need to. You can use it more than once because you're using it very carefully. And I'm really happy with how my color transitions turned out between my marker ink and my watercolor paint. Um, I think it was really fun seeing how they kind of work together with a watercolor brush. Ooh, this one turned out nice. Oh, I love that. Something about those borderless shapes. Pretty cool. I'm excited. Oh yeah, see, um, this one right here is coming out very nice right here. Yes. Oh, that's so satisfying. Nice crisp edges. This is awesome. Okay, so um, that is that process. Um, I hope to see you in the next video. I'm going to start working on some colorization, I think, in my background. Um, maybe. I'm not sure yet. I kind of like black and white, but we'll see what happens. I'll see you in the next video.